Brooke, are you wearing um, Aloha Tower on your shirt? Maybe. Huh. It's from Zara. So I saw you're wearing red, so I had to wear red because I wanted to like it's be about like time you. time get on the same page as me. It's a Hawaii thing. Welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. I'm Lanai, and that's oh, Brooke hi. Lee, what everybody. Up? we got a very special guest today. This show brought to you by the Star Advertiser, uh, bringing you what matters. It's a Hawaii Thing. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser's digital foo access. All you got to do is subscribe. Did you say foo access? Foo, all foo, okay. Nine ninety five a month. What's the code? Oh, it's a test. A high thing. There you go. <laughs> also, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Federally. Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union now offers convenient branch locations across Oahu. On and Maui. Maui now, too. Yeah. Yes. And Kamehameha Schools. we got to thank them. Um, building communities for a brighter tomorrow. Uh, that's your school. It was one of my schools, yes. Today's guest. You know her very well, Brooke. Oh, I, yeah, um, well, we're Pearl City girls. I'm so. a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> uh, you might know her from uh, the Gilmore Girls. She did, I believe, seven a little seasons. little side project she worked on yeah. for a little bit. Our, sound guy, piece, is, if our you will. sound guy is like in, in love with the Gilmore Aww. Girls. Uh, she also appeared in a reoccurring role on the WB's Felicity, as well as guest starred on such programs as Beverly Hills 90210, Boom. ER, Boom. Sister, Sister, Renegade, Boom. um um, appeared in a made for TV show, movie, Terror in the Shadows, Dude, as just well round as a. Up. She's been in everything. Everything. Like you'll need a whole just show like, just uh, for Amy the IMDb Hill. credits Amy and her alone. have been on everything. <laughs> the two Asians that have been in every show. Um, she's been in Strong Medicine on Lifetime. Uh, currently, she's on Fox uh, with Prodigal Son. Did mm -hmm. I say it right? Prodigal. Prodigal Son. Wow. Um, you know what I'm really excited about? She was. Uh, she's on Saul. Um, Can we just Saul. get to her interview Better part? Better call Saul. Because I'm also, hey, she worked for this. Okay. Let's give her an intro. Also, uh, Dirty now. John. She's also in Shameless. Uh, <laughs> NCIS so Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, I'm a starving so actor and I'd jealous. love to meet her. Ladies so and gentlemen, jealous. Keiko Agena. How you doing, Keiko? Is it Agena or awesome. a Jaina? Agena. Agena. Yeah. My whole life I've been calling you the wrong last name. Oh, really? I'm oh, so no, it happened. I I just so like, you know. Oh, is it with a J? I th I think the so. J? How are you? I'm great. How are you? It's so nice to meet you. Thanks for uh, joining us from Ala Moana. <laughs> yes, I did. I, I'm taking a break from the shopping. Thought I'd sit down and have a little chat. That's so cool. You're you're a busy girl. Your resume is massive. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Like how, I said, I'm working hard. Working hard. How how does a girl from Pearl City get to Hollywood? And, and when does that happen? Hollywood and beyond. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how does that happen? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it, it, uh, Los Angeles was in 92, I moved there. Uh -huh. So it was, a, you know, it's, you, when you say it all at once, it sounds like a lot. But there's also, you know, <laughs> at the very beginning, it was a much slower build until Wait, uh, what, until what school you went? Rolling. What school you went? Where did you go to school? Well, I went to Pearl City, and then um, I graduated at Midpac. Mid really? The last three, Mid the last three owls. years, yeah. Go uh -huh. Owls! Go Owls! Yeah, does he, your boy go to Midpac? <laughs> yes, my son does. Now attend the Mid Pacific Institute, yes. which is what they like you to call it from Mid now on. Mid Pacific Institute, what a great school! Yes. And, and and then you go to Hollywood. Did you plan on being an actress, an actor? What 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 was the plan? Oh, yeah. Well, I started acting in Hawaii at 10. I did community theater. It was sort of my hobby, my after school passion. Uh -huh. And I went on a partial scholarship actually to Whitman College in Walla Walla, Washington. Whoa, Couldn't Walla. afford to stay. Uh -huh. um, so when I visited LA in the uh, summer break i and i just stayed in uh, los angeles uh -huh. i found a better school a, a, a smaller private uh, acting institution and just stayed in los angeles and that was like in 92. do you remember your Dang. first gig paid gig yeah my first gig uh was a show called renegade that i don't know renegade. with lorenzo lamas if wow. you've ever that's lorenzo, a long time of course, ago lorenzo lamas he was like studly guy <laughs> back in the day Still is. Yeah. He had long <laughs> hair. <laughs> yeah, that like was my that now. was my first gig. Wait, wasn't there another local person on Renegade? Was there? As in, what's his yeah, name? Yeah, Carrie. You guys oh, were Carrie talking Tagawa. about him on one of the other shows. Carrie Tagawa. Yeah, is he, he was on, on Renegade? Renegade. Yes, yes. it's a I'm friend thinking, of mine. I'm I forgot about that. I'm thinking of the Avis rental car. Uh, he's married to uh, Ma Le Ma'a. What's his name? Branscombe. Wasn't Branscombe oh. on that? 
Oh, I don't know if he Branscom was on Richmond. He oh, must have been know. on a different one. Carrie's done a bunch of shows as yeah, well. Yeah, Carrie to yeah. yeah. Carrie from Kauai. Carrie Tagawa. That well, congratulations yes. on everything, first of all. Thank you. You, are, you. You look the same. You look very yeah. Really? You He's too, girl. Asian don't crack. <laughs> I was gonna say because Gilmore Girls was how long ago? Twenty years ago? We don't 15? need to say dates. twenty years. 20 we celebrated years. our twenty year anniversary from the pilot. But you play. But you played a a teenager on the show. But you were how old at the time? We don't talk about age. I was twenty six. <laughs> we don't talk No, but she bro. still looks the same, of so it's okay. Of course she does, but let's For not, you, it's not okay. Numbers. For her, it's okay. All right. Yeah. You still look the same age. See? Asian don't crack. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so we, where are you now besides Ala Moana? <laughs> where are you living? Are you in the uh, Yes. I'm uh, broadcasting from the Ala Moana version uh, in New York City, actually. York City. I'm out. So Prodigal Son, the show that I'm on now, is a Fox show, and it shoots in New York. And I'll be here until probably April. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. And then we'll I'll. Talk, I'm sorry, yeah. we'll talk about this show in a second. When we come back, don't go anywhere, all right? Keiko is hanging out with us. This show brought to you by the Star Advertiser, uh, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union, and Kamehameha Schools. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Keiko Agena is hanging out with us, and uh, she's kind of at Ala Moana via New York. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about the show that you're doing right now. What's the show about, and what is it called again? Uh, the show is called Prodigal Son. It's uh -huh. a Fox show. It's going to be on Tuesdays in January. Okay. And uh, it's about a. Oh, is it still hard to hear me? Nope. No. Is it weird? Hear you. Yeah. No. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> now it's weird in my <laughs> headphones. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, so the show is about a son who has a serial killer father, oh. but he's actually um, an FBI um, a profiler. He, he actually he he starts to work with the um, NYPD. And you play a doctor in this show. Yes, I play the medical examiner. Oh, yes. Okay. So it's a feel good program. <laughs> yeah. It's a sitcom. Yeah. So what you're saying, Keiko, is it's a sitcom. Is what you're saying. Okay, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's actually it's actually funny because uh, so Lou Diamond Phillips is in it. Um, <gasps> it, it. There's actually a lot of humor. My. Yeah. Um, my character is a is the would be the comic relief of the show, uh, and there's a, there's like action elements to it besides the uh, the heaviness of the serial killer family. Got it. Did I tell you my Lou Diamond Phillips story? Why do you have a Lou Diamond Phillips story? Oh, it's a great story. Okay. I was with Jamie, but at the time we were in L.A. and and uh, I'm a huge Lou Diamond Phillips fan. Who is who isn't right? He's right. Filipino too. Of course. Right? So I'm doing this pop up dinner and. Uh, they tell me he's going to be at the dinner. I was like, what? So so I'm waiting by the door for him to oh, show up. Like a stalker. And, and I'm it. thinking, I got to say, I want to say something to this guy because I grew up watching La Bamba like 150 times. Uh -huh. And all this, you know, in my head, I'm thinking of all this stuff. And people are coming and sit down. And he's like 10 minutes late. Okay. So we're, ready. we're just waiting for him to show up, basically. Wow. Because there, there's only 20 people at this dinner. So I'm thinking about what am I going to say? What am I going to say? And here he comes. And I'm thinking, oh, what am I going to say? I don't want to look stupid. You know, that Please whole don't thing. tell me you sang La Bamba. And he comes up to me and he looked. I go, hey, thanks for coming to the dinner. And he looks at me and he goes, you're the guy from the food truck race. We cheered for you. I, what? And that's my wife. And he kept going. I couldn't say anything. That's I didn't so let me say anything. Huh. And he said, I know we're late. We're going to go sit down. I want to talk to you later. He <laughs> watched you on the Food Network? Yeah. Lou Diamond Phillips. Yeah. You're making it up. No, I, did, I swear. That's it so made crazy. my year. That was two years ago. Aww. Yeah. How is he? Is he a oh, nice guy? Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, is he a nice guy? Oh, he's the best. Yeah. He's, uh, he loves the puns. Um, and uh. he, he's a hard, he's a very hard worker and has a fabulously positive attitude. That yeah. is so funny. He, he loves the positive. pun. That's yeah. like, that's like code. He for does. He's, he's a nerd. <laughs> he's a full blown <laughs> he's nerd. <laughs> now we have a, we have some fa some Gilmore girl fans here. Uh, does that, is that like, did that change your whole career? Did that launch your career? How, tell us about that whole thing. Uh, well, to be on a show, to, to get to be a series regular and have a stable job uh, for seven years is, is always a blessing. To work any day as an actor is, yeah, a, is a blessing. So that definitely changed my life. Um, but, I, but it's funny, it really wasn't until the show got on Netflix. And that was a long time uh, after it was on the air, yeah. where it really started to feel different, where people 
knew a little bit maybe they hadn't seen it but they had heard about it mm. yeah. because back in the day we were on the cw and the wb and there were certain hardcore fans but it was kind of you know under the radar um yeah. so so when it went on netflix i think we had a it, that i kind of felt that, that, that more people were at least had heard of it you have a whole new audience too right another yes. generation so to speak do you get recognized yeah. on the street from the gilmore girls yeah sometimes yeah, yeah. i used uh, to get um <laughs> sometimes people they would know that they kind of know me but they don't know where from yeah. and especially early on they would swear like i was in class with them or they were like which school do you, you know like college or something yeah. like, no, that's no. funny no not me yeah yeah because yeah, all, all us asians look alike right well, everyone, yeah. everyone thinks i'm bj penn the mma fighter do they yeah, yeah. i don't okay. get the acknowledgement that i'm supposed to get got it um but, but you guys had a reunion yes right when was that? We did. Was... That was in 2016, and it kind of, uh, uh, it, I think it came about because of the fan support. Mm. There was interest in it. Uh -huh. And so there was enough momentum uh, to, to get four new episodes that were longer episodes. But they kind of revisited all the characters about, uh, I guess it would be like seven years later. Okay, I want to talk about where you guys shot this whole thing, but we got to take a quick sure. break, so don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. We'll be right back. Did you guys shoot this whole thing in Universal Studios on a lot? We did. We shot it um, uh, at the Warner Brothers studio in Burbank. Okay. Warner and we Brothers. pretended, yeah, we pretended it was Connecticut and cold, but it was uh, never really snowing or anything yeah. like that. Because, I, you know, I love Universal Studios. Brooke, you got me tickets there a few times. Did I? Yeah, I go there all the time for some way reason. Way nicer person back then. You were. Yeah. I, and uh, <laughs> so, you know, like that little town, I think Back to the Future was shot. A bunch of other Yeah, the town square. Videos. Yeah. Uh, was, uh -huh. it the ta was it the town square? No, they were at Warner Brothers. Oh, you were Warner Brothers. Brothers. Which but, is but you the... created that whole, like, and it stayed there forever, right? For the whole time. Yeah, it, it's still there. So, so not yeah. only our show, but... A lot of shows will use that little, yeah. there's like a little gazebo, but people build different things. It's basically a, it is like a little square where they have buildings around the side and a little lot yeah. in the if you do little the, grassy lot in the middle. If you do the Warner Brothers behind tour. the lot tour, they'll take you over you there. Never <laughs> seen that yeah. I don't have pool with Warner Brothers. I just had pool oh. with Universal. So right. sorry, yeah. my bad. And uh, not it's all about the connections. Yeah. yeah. Not to take you too far back, but you did ER. Yeah. What did you do on ER? You know, it, the first time I was, I actually played two different characters on ER, but they were far enough apart that uh, <laughs> people were like, wait a slide. minute. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, the first time I was super young, too. This was way before Gilmore Girls, but then I, I, I played a mother. This Seriously? is what's strange about being an actor. I played wow. a mother, and my child was like seven years old. Wow. That was the first time I was on ER. And then later on, I played a, um, uh, uh, oh, a, 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 grieving wife who who loses her husband unexpectedly during the uh, uh during that episode was Clooney the doctor no this was this was after he had already left how long was Clooney on that show I don't, that I, don't, I, don't, I never really watched the show too oh, yeah, it was, yeah. yeah it was a while ago but I yeah. didn't know Clooney was on there until five years ago really yeah Okay. <laughs> so Wasn't intense. he also on facts of life or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that yes that's yeah, yeah. right that, that you, was his big start you remember the jingle <laughs> Do you remember the facts of life? The facts of life. Yeah. The facts of life. Don't sing it. Life. Don't let them know, Keiko, that we know these things. I love We're too I young. Love, I love that show. We're, too young. we're too millennials. Young. <laughs> we don't know any uh, of that. You did Beverly Hills Nine. Unless it's on TikTok, I don't know about yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. You, you did uh, Beverly Hills Nine Zero Two One Zero. Yes. Now, that you've done well, you some... have to be specific because there's the before era, there's the <laughs> middle era, and there's the now era. Was there different ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, like a lot. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's iconic. It's okay. an iconic show. So are you talking about the Zeering era? Which or one did you about... do? I did way back when. It was one of the first things I did. So you were on the iconic, the, the one. Yeah. Yes. With yeah. Shannon Doherty yes. and Aaron Spelling's <laughs> daughter. And... Oh, rest in yeah. peace. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Every time, you know, a certain so amount of time crazy. goes and you forget. Yeah, like, oh, and no, you're like, wait, what? Right. He's what? Yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. sad. Did you enjoy doing that one? Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, like I said, every every gig is just like celebrating a work day. I love, yeah. I love a good work day. 
Yeah. You know what I you know what I found out from Amy Hill. Let me drop that name yeah. right there. Um, Amy said that your the mom Emily Kuroto plays your mom. On, yeah. She does a lot on Cameo playing your mom. A lot of people <laughs> hire her on Cameo to Wait, do what, birthdays. What, cameo. Oh, that's the shout yeah, out. Yeah. Well, yeah. And to but to be the uh, character yeah. and to oh, say really? things yeah. in character <laughs> as Lane's mom. Do you do that? Do you do the Cameo that- thing? I haven't yet, but I know I know some people that do it. Yeah. That's funny. So she, Emily makes money just basically yelling at people. Basically just yelling, yelling at people. <laughs> just screaming basically, at people. Basically, yeah. For their birthday. They'll, they'll just hire and be like, um, she has like MCATs coming up. Can you just That's say funny. something to her? And then she'll be like, uh, you better do good or Wait. something. Yeah. Study hard. Amy Amy should do that. As she the, does cameo uh, all the time. Oh, does she, she makes do? so oh. much no, money. But does she do it on, like uh, from Friday? As Not the, from Friday. She does a lot of just add magic type I'm stuff. I'm Korean. Oh. Really? That, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> get on get on cameo, Keiko. Um, what do you do? What do you like? You like pick Look, a, you're gonna look into it now. You you're gonna price? be like, hey, I was on the Food Network star. You can oh, be one too. Would, be nobody on would cameo. Buy, nobody would want me to say happy birthday. I've tried to get on cameo, they won't take me. Cameo. Oh really? What? They've got former Miss Oklahoma's, but a Miss Universe can't no. even get an edge um, no. But I'm not about it. Men. Oh. Right, your congressman. No. We, we can start our own cameo, maybe. Okay. Talking about all these different shows you've done. Um, gosh, you know, you did Better Call Saul. What a show. You're just going to go through the wish list of everything you uh, could have been on. Because I have questions, that's oh why. And then Shameless a, is another one. He's Shame, a, what a frustrated actor, show. this guy. He yeah. really wants to, like, nail the auditions, and he asks all the actors to come on the show. How I, get the worst, I get the worst jobs, that's no. why. Keiko, okay, you got to help me. You were in Hawaii. There's not a lot to choose from here, love. <laughs> well, then that even explains more you're how bad I am. You're thug number three, you're right. or you're police officer number two. Keiko, okay, you're from <laughs> Pearl City High School. No, she went what to Mid-Pack. Yes. Mid- and Mid-Pack. Where, a little bit. What do you miss about Hawaii? What's the thing that you miss? Well, mostly I miss, miss my family. Oh, yeah. So all all my uh, my and, and now that I have a niece and nephew, Ooh. you know that 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 just kills me every time I see all of the uh, How old are photos they? and they change so much. Um, two and three. Say hi to them. Say wow. hi to them. Yeah. Hi, Reef. Hi, Ralph. There you go. Do, do they watch your shows? Do they watch any of your shows? I mean, they're too young, right? Mm, they they really shouldn't as far as like, not the show yeah. I'm on now. Yeah. No, 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 no. They yeah, should not, the show not right now. Yeah. watch that show. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Hawaii. And then Zippies, of course. Oh, my God. Zippies. I wish I ate meat. I don't eat meat anymore. So Zippies is oh, kind really? of, it's hard for me. Keiko, so when did the meat thing stop? What? Yeah. You know what? It's been a slow progression. I started Presbyterian and now I'm like very, very vegetarian wow. sometimes. I'm trying to almost get vegan. So it's Look been a very you. long Okay. Process. It's so hard in Hawaii. There's it's so much. It so is. hard. Girl. Yeah. Well, you know, so the good hard. thing about Zippies is they do have a vegan chili. I know. That's what I. That's what I wow. order every time I go there now. And they have a tofu burger. And just so that you. Can oh, be, I don't haven't had that. Just so no. you can be starstruck for a minute, if you pick up the phone and you call Zippy's, <laughs> it's Lanai's voice uh, on the you. phone because he's the official spokesperson <laughs> for Zippy's. Unless gonna... you want the job, in which case I'll make a call tomorrow. Oh, thank you for cutting me out of the ru- <laughs> pulling the rug out. Of- I'm gonna send you. Uh, um, we did a little documentary about Zippy's. Uh, it did, aired actually. last year. Yeah, he did. the whole. Oh story yeah, yeah, send it to me. How, how it came popular. It's it's pretty cool. The Higa family, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You know they're gonna open three Zippies in Vegas. No. No. Yes. <laughs> it was supposed to open this year, but obviously got pushed back. But yeah. Yeah. Three at one time. Yes. I love that she has four pages of an IMD page, and then as soon as you say <laughs> they're gonna open Zippies in Vegas, yeah. she's like, no. <laughs> That's why you're real. That's how you know you're local. Yeah, you local. You see, yeah. I, can, I can go see, to the Emmys. Sometimes I gotta eat meat and then just like, you know, once a year, you gotta have some <laughs> yeah. actual zippies, How often maybe. do you come home? About once a year-ish. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wish it was more, but it just, I keep thinking it would be more and then it only ends up being once a year. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. And do you just go for broke? Like, I'm here for one week, so I'm gonna eat everything? Or you do? <laughs> I try, but you know what though? My uh, my sister in law also is really good cook, um. so it's like I have to, and uh, you know it's hard. Like like you know the saying goes, the camera adds, mm, girl. <laughs> yeah. and so, like, but you're Asian, like, so you'll, um, you'll always look the same. Is your husband from Hawaii too? Oh, he's from Japan. Oh, he's from Japan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He came to LA in uh, 2000. Okay. So it's the other Hawaii. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 
It really is. I mean, it's uh, like Vegas or Japan. The other so Hawaii. much of our food is influenced by Japan, of course. Um, so what else do you miss besides zippies? Is there anything else? Uh, oh, you know what? I miss, um, I really miss the sky. Mm. So it's really? weather, it's weather. Yeah. But you know what though? The thing is, it's like it, LA skies. I, I love Los Angeles. Uh -huh. it, it always looks just dead. It's just gray. <laughs> yeah. It's not only smoggy. It's just, there's no clouds in it. It's yeah. just like, flat. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's flat. Yeah. Or, and the clouds are really low. I don't know why that is, but it just uh -huh. feels like heavy. Mm. And you walk off that plane in Hawaii, it's just like, <gasps> like I can breathe a little mm -hmm. bit easier. Yeah. You know? Everybody says that. that. Well, next time yeah. you come home, we'd love to take you out to lunch at Zippy's. Aww. Or wherever else you want to go. There's so many good places <laughs> here. That's but, true. That's true. But, I should um, try to expand my uh, Well, when you know what? When you come yeah. home, I'll take you on my food tour. I have a food tour that I do. We we'll right. take you to Hole in the Walls. But before we go. Oh, we have, oh uh, shoot. I totally we forgot. Have gift from Enjoy. And we have the sweet pack, which is go mine. Ahead. And we have the salty pack, which is Brooks. They were put together by our personalities. But if I might just add, since your husband is from you know, in the Nihongo de persuasion. Which one would you like? I have like? Ika in mine. Which one would you like? I have Ika. I have, have squid in mine. You have five seconds well, to choose. Squid okay. in mine. For Shin. I love my husband, but I want the sweet one. There Come you go. Damn, Keiko. Yes, I finally got one. You broke Don't my tell. streak. Keiko, again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on everything that you're so doing. We're wrong. so proud of you, and you're representing Hawaii very well. So betrayed. We'll see you on the YouTube long version. Aloha, <laughs> Keiko. Take care. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing, the YouTube long version, the exclusive behind the scenes. Long version? Yeah. Okay. And um, Threw up in my mouth Ke a little bit. Keiko just... Just saying. Why do you think like that? I don't think like I that. Have. That's why you got the salty pack and I, I got have. the sweet pack. Okay. <laughs> and she she chose the sweet pack. Yes, she did. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Cho and you're going to throw in a sticker? No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm saving it. <laughs> your, your husband likes the sweet stuff? No, he's a salty guy, right? Isn't sh Shin's like? Oh, you're the sweets. Shin, you're the sweets. Yeah. She's yeah, she's all about. Yeah. Very good. I'm a, I got a sweet. Tea. She's Very like well, because I wouldn't. But you said you said before that you have Lee in the sweet also, right? Yes. Or no? Yes. Yes. So it's kind of like. Do you? you kind of yeah. get oh, both do? a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but you know, I was going but, for the Shin factor, but. Keiko, she's so competitive. She's I am. Like, oh, you're only in the bathroom peeing for 30 seconds? I pee longer. That's that like never how happened. competitive she is. That never happened. Yes. It, it doesn't make sense First to me. of all, you had a kidney stone. We've been friends so since that's a medical we were thing. 17, and she still has to compete we with We were me. not friends since 17. You are so much older than me. Shut up. <laughs> you are. No, not even close. What year were you born? What year were you born? <laughs> 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 I can do this acting exercise uh, all day. I'll, oh I'll just repeat whatever you say. I don't care. <laughs> Keiko, when you when you're away, um, we know what you miss to eat, but where do you, where do you miss to go and home um, in Hawaii? It's a lot of pressure. You know, I wish I was an outdoor. I, I would love to pretend that I'm an outdoor person, but I was unfortunately one of those Hawaii people that wasn't. I'm an indoor person. Yeah, uh -huh. in Hawaii. Like I'll be honest, me and my sister. So there's four sisters. Two of them are good Hawaiian girls, where they go paddle boarding and yeah. <laughs> like hiking, the and Cocoa then the other head. two. Yeah. Are like me that uh, just stays indoors, and my sister, the other sister that just reads all day. Yeah. So really, see that's why you have the skin you have. It's because the yeah. sun. You're, you're gonna last <laughs> they forever. They tease me too when see, I come home. That's why you don't. They're age. like you're blinding me. Yeah. You're gonna last forever. I gotta yeah. ask you. So when you do your, when you audition for these shows, I noticed that your glasses is your thing. Is it? I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you change them up? Do they tell you? Oh, don't wear them. We don't want you know. Yeah, you know what? I usually I will audition most off most often with glasses. A um, couple couple of reasons. One, I I actually just don't like contacts, and I I like to have them to see. Uh -huh. um, but a lot of times, if it's a recurring character, the glasses that I come that I audition with just start to be the they just use them for the oh, show. Really? So that's why I I will then go buy different pairs for me for my personal uh -huh. life because then that just becomes. Like I Lane's see. glasses, be, you know, they just go to the show. Got um, it. Uh, you know. You don't got a lens I mean, crafters I still deal? Huh? A lens crafters deal. <laughs> you don't deal. have a lens crafters deal? <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, you know which company I would, I'll give a shout out to? Oh. Gins. Do you guys have gins? gins? What is gins? What's gins? It's Japanese. It's an eyeglass uh, 
uh, store. They have some in LA, but it's inexpensive. Oh, really? Yeah, gyms well, give me a deal. Well, Keiko, you should. Right? No, wait, wait, wait a minute. You shouldn't be saying give me a deal. You should be wearing them for free. Um, <laughs> let me talk to your manager. You, you know who I'm, uh, we both are friends with is, um, who you might want to look them up. Who are we? Is friends? Barton Pereira. I don't, they have amazing glasses. I don't know who this is. How are my friends with them? Who's that? Uh, Tim Caliente. He, you know, he designed Oh, my bad. Barton Hi, Tim. What's yeah. up? He um, was with Oakley if, before. Yeah, if you watch, like, um, you know, all Johnny Depp and all the big stars wear their, his, their glasses. There's no logo oh, yeah? on them or anything. Yeah. Huh. But they're made really, they're, some of them are made in Japan. They're made really well. You should hook her oh. up with I will. If Tim. You, yeah, but you go check it out first and see if you like them. Okay. And then I'll, I will set you up with Tim. I sure. will verify. Tim is like for realsies. Like yeah. he'll just get you stuff and he makes the world Oh, here, Here's a good one. Samuel L. Jackson. He's always wearing glasses. Okay. Right. Those are Barton Pereira. Are they? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know Colored that. white, any color you see, whatever he. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I had no Barton idea. Barton Pereira? Pereira. Pereira. Barton Pereira. Pereira. It's Pereira. Two, two okay. different designers. Um, uh, I forgot his first name. Barton and uh, Pereira. Like yeah. a, oh, okay. like a, like a Portuguese from Dolce Kailua? and Gabbana or no? Yeah. 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 Got like it. That. But, but I noticed you have good taste in glasses and I think you would like Thank them. Thank you. Aww. Yeah. So you have to give him a plug too. You want some glasses? <laughs> no, I'm good. Thanks buddy. You don't wear, you wear contacts? I'm not giving away all my secrets. Oh my gosh. What I'm you? a superhuman. Just perfect vision. Everything. Teeth. Ding. She wish. <laughs> Those, those are all wood teeth by Keiko. Those are wood. Koa. Koa, koa with white wood? paint. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Did you, did you go to your class reunion? I didn't. You didn't go? Any one of them? 10 year? 20? None? Really? No. You know what? Part of it is that I was... Working. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. That's part of it. But also, I was friends a little bit with people not actually in my grade. Oh. Um. Grade. So, um, you were so that was part time. of it too. Do you hang out with any Hawaiians at home? No. Nope. my family. People from Hawaii? No. I want to know how you family. met Shin. That's what I want to know. Your husband. He's a, he's a, a singer, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's a musician. Yeah. Singer, okay. guitar. Now he's doing some keyboard MOOC oh, okay. stuff. <laughs> nice. Okay. We, we met because he was, um, a musician in a, a band that was doing a collaboration with a theater company I was in at the time. Oh. And so this is the short of the short story of mm. our, our, so we were friends for six years. Wow. We, um, were roommates for six months. We were engaged no, no, wait a minute, one wait a month. Minute. And then were, we've been married for 15 years. Wait a minute. So when you were friends for six years, nothing happened. You just, yeah. it was just, what is the word? Pla pla Platonic. Platonic. <laughs> And then when you were a yes. roommate, when you were roommates, nothing happened. What? It, why are you? Well, wanna, that's where it started. What do you want? Like we, DNA we swabs? Close. That's like, when you got what? very close. Because I'm trying to figure out how long they were in a relationship. Uh, she explained it. No, but she didn't say that they were together. Just roommates. They were roommates, yeah. and then they were engaged. You know what happens for a when month. you're roommates and you order pizza and Netflix? No, what? You get they fat. get married. They got married. Oh, yeah. Okay. They got married. Netflix and <laughs> show. I get it. I get it. No, is uh, is he in the business, uh, in acting or anything, or just music? No, he uh, he's music, and then uh, it, so I actually, for me, I like it because we respect each other as artists, but we don't get involved cr critically about each other because we don't. That, yeah. I I know nothing about music, and he doesn't yeah. know anything about acting, so it's like uh, it, for us, it really, I think it really works. Yeah. He's hot. Your husband's hot. I'm going to go on record. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm just saying, I'm going on record. I'm going on record. Oh, Pearl City's coming he's, out. He's hot. Do, he's hot. You, um, do you miss any of the island music? Do you listen to any island music? I haven't lately, but, you know, every time I go home, it's like uh, very, so it's very soothing. What are yeah. you, because you guys have, uh, you have guests on your show too, right? The, yeah, the, yeah. Lots We're, of singers and. Yeah, yeah, but when you left in 92 or The music or scene was very yeah. different. Yeah, it was very, it was like, what, beginning of Jawaiian back then? Yeah, it, it was more... Um, but so you grew up when we grew up, so you were listening to the Kalapana, Casimeros. CNK, that kind of stuff. You were thinking yeah. about the C&K concerts. Listen to Kalapana, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's like, that's your childhood memories, right? Peter Moon yeah. Band, um, Brothers Casimero, yeah. if you listen to KCCN. My, my sister knows uh, Leigh Melikin. I don't know if you know that Lay. she's a lay, but in any case, it's more re, uh, recent. recent but, so what kind yeah. of music do you listen to? Her husband. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Let's see. The last one that I um, listened to was uh, Leonard Cohen. Oh, wow. Leonard Before Cohen. he passed away. Cohen. Leonard oh, Cohen. Leonard Cohen. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're like an old soul. Like you're like a. Like That's a, an old soul song. Yeah, you're yeah. like album, a throwback, yeah. like a throwback person. Whereas I'm fully on the BTS army tip now. That's okay? what I was gonna, <laughs> Keiko, that's my what sister I was gonna, too. Michelle, I, my sister Michelle that's is what totally I was gonna BTS army. Yeah, to. I'm I, a full blown member now. So, do you know about this BTS thing? You're you're familiar with the K-pop world? Oh, it's everywhere now. Yeah, I'm yeah. very um, satellite. I mean, I but you can't not know about it yeah. in right, some right. way. I think yeah, 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 yeah. it just it just doesn't. Brooke, it just feels like it's everywhere. Well, I wouldn't know because I took my oath and as an army member, like they're my center of my world <laughs> she now. She only listens to BTS. So I only listen to BTS nowadays. Oh, so okay. I've I'm gone a, down the rabbit hole. I'm a black pink person. Of course you are because yeah. you're a guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't listen to them all the time or anything, but I'm, I'm fa- I respect what they do and I'm fans of the work that He's they put in. black pink in your area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And there's uh, Red Velvet. Couldn't tell you. Yeah, that's another girl. Group. I don't listen to any K-pop. Yeah. I just listen to BTS. Do you like pop at all? Like, do you like you know Beyonce and, and hip hop, R and B, any of that? My, I um, <clears throat> when I met Shin, this is this is the extent of my musical knowledge. When I met <laughs> Shin, I had only ever owned like six CDs. Damn. Really? Like this is <laughs> yeah. Name them uh, in alphabetical order. <laughs> oh, not in alphabetical order, but there was like the soundtrack to Good Morning Vietnam with Love Robin it. Williams. Oh, There's wow. the Carpenters. Love it. Nice. <laughs> were, uh, yeah, it was just very random stuff. Like, I don't even know if I bought them. I think they were just You're just given to you like, in like an East West players, <laughs> in a East Boy, West, yeah. West, cool. West players basket. I love it. That's and, so and then you meet a musician, is... and then you meet a musician, okay. and he's like, you don't <laughs> listen to what? What? And then he's like, okay, I'm going to marry this girl. I'm yeah. going to marry her and educate her on all things musician like. Uh, obviously, it worked yeah. out. Good for you guys. That's yeah. awesome. Love uh, it. So 15, 15 years on uh, on the 19th, December wow. 19th. Wow. Yeah. Good for you. Are you, are you, going, on, are you going on a big anniversary? Yeah. Uh, honeymoon? Yeah. Or what do they call They're going that? around you know, the world on a boat. <laughs> no, when, it, when it's time. When it's In time. 2021. Are you going? You, guys, you know, you we that? we tried to find some place because, you know, we're in an Airbnb here in New York and we're, you know, we're safe. Uh, but we're trying to find uh, something where they have like a they have certain places where you have, they have like a 48 hour um, a window where they don't have anybody in it, like uh-huh. in a hotel room or something like that. Um I don't know. <laughs> You're going to do hard. something. You I really something. wanted to celebrate. Yeah, 15 you know, is do big. Something, but it's, it's a big one. Just... Are you a traveler? You like to travel? He is. I don't. Oh, it's amazing don't? we're together. Really? He, we're so different. Well, that's he, lo- he loves to travel right. to South East, East Asia a lot. Yeah. Do you, would be to, there right now do you guys go to japan do you does do you guys go to japan and visit family there and stuff or yeah he goes at least once a year mm. and uh, i haven't actually been for i think five years or something but if we can i'll go this year because so his mom and his brother is over there where in japan um he's in uh toyama, oh, toyama. but when he goes back he goes to uh tokyo yeah. and um yeah that's my favorite uh, tokyo country. osaka yeah where Tokyo, uh, Tokyo? Oh, Japan is my favorite country. I shoot, we shoot oh. a show there, a food show there. So I'm there all the time. Oh. Yeah, I go like six times a year. You used oh to. Oh my gosh. In the before times. Well, I'll be going uh. again next year. It's like doubled now. Okay. Yeah. Um, Are they, yeah. Oh, okay. No, go ahead. Don't they not no, let no, you no. in yet? Aren't they going to not? Well, right now you can't go in, obviously. Right. But um, yeah, you one, we should try to time it out so you guys can be on the show. I take different people oh. to eat at these hole in the walls. And it's like different celebrities. Like I had this famous Japanese actress. I didn't know who she was. How'd you get her then? Yeah. Um, the production company oh. booked her. So every time I go to a different restaurant, they book like a, a musician from Japan. or And they're the experts, right? They bring me to these hole in the wall uh, places. Okay. So we'll have your husband bring <gasps> me to. Shin could take him to like yeah. one of his favorite places. That's how it works. That would be cool. Yeah. That'd be we'll, cool. We'll all go. See? He never invites me on anything. Too many kids. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm just so kidding. grumpy. I, uh, what are you talking about? I invite you everywhere. No, he doesn't. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what's the next thing for you? Do you want to direct? Do you want to write? Do you, do you do any of that? Um, I write more. I'm, I have more interest in writing than directing necessarily. So I definitely am. Am starting to think about that. I have a book. Oh yeah. Uh, so there's that kind of writing. Congratulations and then, on the book. Oh, thanks. 
And so there's that kind of writing. And then also script writing. I have yeah. one that I've been working on for a while. I'll probably um, dive into a rewrite on that because we'll have time during the um, the break. We have a little bit of a uh, holiday break from filming. So, you, oh, you're writing a yeah. script for the show that you're on? No, 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 no not oh. necessarily. Just, okay. um, just m mostly as exercise. But, you know, um, I... I want, and people should watch it, but I want Prodigal Son to go for years and years and years and years right. and me to never have to think about another job again. Yeah. <laughs> but Not the reality is you always have to be thinking and preparing and like working for of course. for the time when, you're, when you don't have a gig. So yeah. that's just part of it. And then are you always thinking like when shows come to Hawaii, are you always thinking about, oh, I might want to jump <sighs> on that? Like with what's yeah, its face? Yeah, like how come you're not on Magnum or 5 or... Yeah, that's I different. know. But like what do you I call know, it? That the would doogie, be my dream. The that would be my dream to get on a show that like shoots in Hawaii. Oh my one. God. So wait, let, well, let me talk to your agent. <laughs> <laughs> why yeah, haven't let's they, have Lanai why, talk to your why, people. Why, Keiko, have they not? Is nobody called you for any Well, of the things? interesting thing is, though, you're not, like, you're, you've transcended Hawaii. Like, some people are tied to the islands, and they people think perceptually, like, like with um, Ali, Cravalho, right? People are bound. Or Tia. She's, she is bound, or Tia. They're bound to the island mentality. Anything that comes from the islands, people think, oh, these are the people you need to go to. Whereas you are sort of like a Swiss army knife. You could go anywhere, be anywhere, do anything. Yeah. You're not like, you know, pineapple bound kind of a thing. So. Yeah. I, I don't think people think of me, th know that I'm from, from Hawaii. From Hawaii. Yeah. I know, but we need to fix know. that. But this show is going to change that, right? Well, yeah, yes. Exactly. And, and you, you know, the the reason I'm, I wanted to bring this up was because we have so much talented people from Hawaii, obviously. Mm. And they go out and do their thing and they you don't know that they're from Hawaii, but can you imagine if we did a show like, what is the name? The new Doogie show? Doogie Kame Aloha? Yeah. Can you imagine we do this show and we have a whole cast of people from Hawaii? Actually from Hawaii. That's awesome. We we need to do that. We, you oh, got to come yeah. back. Let me talk to your agent. Kim. I don't let you talk okay. to him. No, don't <laughs> let him. He'll have you on his cooking show. He'll make you go Yoko Cho and Keiko, can Manai. you cook? He'll like... Can you cook? Really? No, your husband Japanese. How that happen? What? I know. You, you make sign. You know in? what? He I could love oatmeal. you. He <laughs> loves you, girl. He loves you. Let Something me tell else is you. Going on, huh? Because <laughs> he does love me. Those those boys want their like nabe. They want their food cooked. They want the you know Japanese tamago. Guys, yeah. They want like that stuff like the, on the their, reg. Their newspaper next to breakfast. So, yeah. but for him, oh, he loves you so much. I Fifteen oh. years, you haven't even learned how to cook any of it. Wait, Keiko, can you? I make, barely know Japanese. Can, can you make sign in? <laughs> You can cook something. Out of a packet. Yeah. Yeah, but you can, you know, make it look good. I can right? heat water. Yeah. <laughs> He's like I, SNS. I can make it out of a tub. Because we have we have a cooking show. I'd love to have you on. Oh, look at yeah. him. Look at him. But um, I can make oatmeal. Do you, you guys know, want you, me do you want you me to can, see uh, me make oatmeal with yeah, chia you should seeds make oatmeal. And, almond, and oat milk? Put yeah. Some fruits on it. On his show, you should yeah. make oatmeal. Yeah. That would be awesome. That, that you know, Jake It's just waiting for forty minutes. Jake yeah. didn't cook. Jake Shimmer Crow, he made a sandwich and made a steak. Uh, Seriously? Yeah. yeah, we can make it work. And you let him on the show. We act. Okay. We act it out. Do you? Okay. Yeah. But you can watch the show on uh, Lifestyle Network or FNX in New York. It's called Cooking Hawaiian Stuff. It's in New York? Yeah. I had no idea. I'm starting in uh, Mail Ruben from FNX from people in New York. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. <laughs> what's cool. your favorite? What's your favorite thing to cook? I'm like a soup. Both guy. of you. Both I like of one you. pot. I don't cook. Brooke can't. Brooke's been on the show. <laughs> really? Yeah, she can't cook. That's what I said. Um, but um, no, you can cook. Everyone no, I can't can cook. cook something. No, I can't cook. I I like to cook like one pot stuff, like Filipino food, chili, spaghetti, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not a chef in any way, but I but like. But you to did cook. win a Food Network show, so whatever. Yeah. Okay. But Keiko, we're very proud of you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, representing Thank Hawaii. You. Thanks for coming on. Even though I haven't um, seen you in forever, it's just like you pick up where you left off. That's Pearl City, girl. Yeah. That's Pearl City. More people need to know that you're from Hawaii. You know this and Pearl City. pride thing that we have. Go Chargers. Woo! <laughs> it's weird because we have two Pearl City people on the show yeah. because she's coming on the show. Jason Scott Lee's coming oh, that's on the show. Right. And we all from Pearl City. That's right. Do Same. you want to say hi to anybody, Keiko? Uh, hi, fam. Yeah. Hi, fam bam. You better say names. They're going to be mad. Like, oh, she's huh? going to say hi to me. <laughs> no, you better say be, names. I yeah. have to say all of them. Yeah, she wants them to them stalking. All right. It'll be on OC16, too, so they'll see it on the local stations here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
All right, Keiko. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming on. Let us Thank know when you, you come so home, much. okay? Say hi to your okay. husband. Oh, wait, wait. Are you, on, uh, oh. are you on social media or anything that people can follow you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Keiko Agena. Just my name, at Keiko Agena on Instagram, uh, Twitter, you like doing, TikTok. Are you, are you on TikTok? Yeah, but I only I only started, so I haven't posted anything. I just, oh, okay. I just look, and I don't watch any dances. I only watch like uh, uh, art things. Like I watch people um, uh, paint. pour pour glue and paint. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I heard that's I interesting. It. Yeah. Love it. Well, I follow you, and I'm on Instagram, and Brooke's on Instagram. Brooke doesn't follow anybody, by the way. I don't know what that's about. It's Beyonce. She thinks she's Oprah. <laughs> it's Beyonce. Um, but yeah, follow at Lanai and I'd love to follow you. Sweet. You take care. Ladies and gentlemen, cool. Keiko Agena. Yes. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Thanks Yay. for coming on. All right. You take care. And, Thank uh, you. Okay. Tell those people behind you. They've been there for a long time. They can <laughs> I know. go home. Don't yeah. feed the fish. <laughs> Don't feed the fish.